if you look at every cool feature that you see on legal trails now, whether it's a jump or a berm or a wooden feature, I guarantee it's inspired by something that was done illegally. A lot of like land managers, they don't care. And that's why I'm exists. It's not really harming anything if no one really knows about it. There's so many trails being built. There's only gonna be more trails. We're only gonna be building more and more trails. I'm like Yosemite Sam in the Wild West. I just laugh at them when they wear vests because it's headshots on sight. I don't do beef. I just lay into rest. I'm so hungry, my boss sound malicious. On my journey, you're chasing my riches. I got so many reasons that I gotta make it, so I wake up and I go get I move like I'm the mob in my all black. You ain't down with my squad to get fall back. You know, there's an environmental impact that comes with building a trail. We want steep trails, and those are the trails that carry water. Or if it downpours, you know, it always brings more sediment onto the trail. That's generally the concern with trail building is sediment transport. Every valley, every landscape is a watershed at its root cause. You know, you can kind of envision what the trail feels like, and then you can go out and feel what the trail feels like. You know, I ride a lot by myself. Like I'm just there, and it's my, my time to enjoy it. And then, I'm, and then I'm gone. I just pass through. What really is like mountain biking without trails? I don't want to disparage unsanctioned trail building. Like it's kind of the root of this weird sport. But I think you know you evolve. Everyone thinks they can build trail, and maybe not. <laughs>